Today, I'm gonna show you how to back up your game saves for seven days to die. Now we've got a lot of info to cover and no time to waste, so let's get to it. The first thing you wanna do is open up a folder on your computer. It doesn't really matter which folder you open up, just open up any folder on your computer and then come up here to the View tab. Click on the View tab and you wanna go over to Options, click on Options, and then select Change Folder and Search Options. That will bring up this folder options menu right here. Then you're gonna click on view and then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this little bubble right here has been clicked on. So where it says hidden files and folders, default it will be set on don't show hidden files. You wanna make sure that you click on the option that says show hidden files. So click that, click apply and then click OK. By selecting that option, you now have the ability to see hidden files on your computer. Next, you wanna open up the main profile folder for your computer. So for me, my computer's name's Savin, so I go to my Savin folder. Now to find the main profile, you'll want to open up your primary hard drive, come down to users, and then find your primary user. There it is right there, seven. That's the folder I have opened up right here. And you'll notice that some of these folders look a little different. For instance, my contacts folder and my app data folder, these, are, these look a little different. That's because your contacts folder is a regular folder, your app data folder is a hidden folder. Now, in order to back up your game save, you are going to look for the app data folder. It's a hidden folder, that's why we wanted to change our view options, but just navigate over to your app data folder and you'll come up with local, local, low, and roaming. To find your game saves, you're gonna go to roaming, so double click on that. You're gonna find seven days to die, go ahead and double click on that, and then you're gonna navigate to your saves folder right here. That'll bring up a list of all of the different worlds that are currently on your game. Then you just have to select the world that your game is currently saved in. So select that world, double click, and that'll bring up the individual saves for that world. Then all you have to do is make a backup of this bad boy right here. And there are numerous ways that you can do that. You can right click and bring up this little box right here and then click on copy. Then you can just create a brand new folder on your desktop, right click in that folder Folder and then click paste and that will copy all of the, the information from your save folder onto this brand new folder creating a backup of that save. So this is the app data. This is the actual original save in the seven days to die folder. And then right here is a copy. So we have made a copy of the alpha 19 tests game save. That is one way to do it. Another way to do it is saving to like a thumb drive or a, an external hard drive would work. Just plug one of those bad boys in. So now you see here, I've got my USB drive, my F drive, which is the USB that I just installed. Then all you wanna do is drag this folder and drop it onto the USB drive. Now I'm not gonna do it because I already have a backup uh, saved onto this flash drive and I don't wanna override this save. But all you have to do is drag and drop. Drag this folder here onto your USB drive and your save will be backed up. Now let's say that something happened to your save file, it got corrupted somehow and you need to replace that save file. All you have to do is open up the location where you have your backup saved to. So the folder that you made or your flash drive, then you just wanna drag the backup. So here from the USB drive, we're gonna go from the USB drive into the save folder in the seven days to die save. So we'll go from here to here and it'll start and you'll come up with this pop-up replace or skip files. You wanna replace the files in the destination. That will replace the corrupted files in the actual save folder with your backup save. And that will restore everything back to the point where you actually saved your game. And that's all there is to it, folks. Now all you have to do is load up seven days to die and get back to slaying them zombie jerks. Now I hope you folks have found this video helpful. If you have any further questions, leave them down in the comments for me. I'll try to answer them the best I can. And make sure to hit that red subscribe button and join the Sav Nation. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me in Savin's world, and remember, the average gamer is always king of the hill on the bell curve.